hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel this is krishna and i'm gonna show you how to swap two excel ranges in other words how to swap or exchange the values of two ranges hope you remember my previous video which explains about how to swap our individual cells if you search youtube for okay Not gonna do that. Okay, first of all, this is my channel, and please subscribe if you have not subscribed already because I have beautiful, useful tricks in MS Office automation. Okay, I have 3,500 subscribers. Of course, this is not my full time activity, maybe I'm doing it for kind of a hobby, right? And this is the values of two Excel cells. So this is my old video. The drawback of this video is it will only be swap the cells. So now I have modified my VBA code to swap the range. Okay, so let's see how it works and then I'll take you through the VBA code. It's very simple. And before that, you can find the VBA code in my blog. This is my blog and I'll keep I'll keep all the necessary VBA codes, Excel files in this blog or uh, whatever is you know associated with these videos. You can just check and download and use as is. Okay, this is the post post about uh, swapping two Excel ranges or exchanging the values of two Excel ranges. And it's very simple and I have explained each of them very clearly. Of course. If you have doubts or comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment section, either in my blog or in the video. All right, so let's see first how it works. Okay, so first let's try with a single cell. So remember, you have to select two areas. Uh, what do you mean by area? so this is a area this is a area so now i have two areas selected the area one and area two something like this area one and area two and area three right to swap i need two areas right you cannot do like this because this is a single area there's no point in you know swapping the values of a single selection so i need two selections Okay, so I have selected this and let me run my macro. This is my macro. I'm going to show you that how it looks. First, let this run. Okay. Good. Okay, so the code. This is my code. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Okay, uh, I have clearly explained in my blog. How it works and what is what does the what does each line do okay still i'm gonna explain now so quickly uh there are few things which are a bit of important so the first one is to select the range as a string and convert them into address and check the values to our variables temporary variables okay of course you need to convert those string address into a range right this is where i'm doing it it's here so the area one is basically a string of the address for example so f9 is an address right so this is the string i'm storing in this variable okay and then swapping the values finally and note that i have two if conditions so the first one is to check whether i have selected two areas so in suppose if i select this and run the macro it won't run why because i have not selected two areas or two selection there is only one selection okay and then second if condition is to check the selection is proper that means the selected range has two i mean or 
I would put it like this. The selected areas have same number of cells. So in this case, the first selection has two cells and the second has three. So in this case, this macro won't work. Obviously, this is not correct, right? So the values will be lost. So to be able to work, this macro should, you should select a range, two ranges, which have equal number of cells. So that's what I'm doing here because I don't want to mess with your data. So if there is anything wrong, it will just skip. It won't do anything with the data. Okay, so let's try with some example. Right, so it should not work. It should skip. Yep, it's not working. Let me step into. Okay, so the first condition is true because we have two selections areas. This condition will fail and it will skip. Right. Okay, suppose. So this should pass. Okay, the first condition is true, yes. The second condition is also true, so it will go inside and swap the value. Right? So friends, this is how you swap a range. Okay, so now I did it for a cell. Now I'm gonna do it for a range. Something happened, yep, I pressed. Okay, hope it doesn't. Okay, yeah. So then I'm gonna do with the WW and one, two. So now I have a range with two cells each. Right, select and then select. I have selected two ranges. Each range has two cells. Let me run my query. I mean, my code. Are it true? Yep. Amazing, right? okay so that's it folks for now if you like my videos please subscribe and share it with your friends and of course if you have any questions doubts and if you have uh, you know some tricks please let me know if you need help definitely i'm gonna help you all right thanks for watching see you next time